and welcome to this tutorial series on Google Meet, which is a very popular online conferencing tool by Google. So Google Meet is free to use by anyone with a Google account and to access it, you simply go on to google.com right here. And from google.com, you can see that I'm already signed in onto my Google account. So on the top right, you can see that I'm signed in. So to access Google Meet, you can simply go over here onto the Google app drawer right here. And here you can access Google Meet just like this. So simply click on the Meet icon. And what happens is that a new window opens up. If you're using an official Z Suite account, then this might seem different for you. So you might have new meeting option on the right, but I'm using uh, a free version that is um, um, a free public version of Google Meet. So you see this window right here. Or you can also do this. You can sign into your Google account and then you can directly type in meet.google.com on your address bar like this and you get on to the same page. So over here, now once you, once you come up here, you can see that the window is quite simple. You can start a new meeting from right over here and you have three options. So you get a meeting link to share with other people and you can start it and you can start an instant meeting over here or you can schedule a meeting in Google Calendar and invite other people to join in later on. Over here on the top right hand side, you can access other Google apps. But over here, this is what we're going to look at in um, in this lesson before we even start diving on into starting a new meeting. So let us just click on settings and what happens is that I have an audio setting right here. So by default, I have many audio input devices. So I'm using line in, you might have microphone. So if you're uh, simply using a laptop, then you might only have one option here, which is line in, but you might want to, you might want to take a look at this first to make sure that your microphone is working. So choose the microphone device that is suitable for you and you'll see uh, the audio right over here. You can also go on to the speaker section and choose the speaker that you want the audio out from and test it out whether it works or not. The video settings is right over here. So by default, I'm using this camera right here. So if you have multiple webcams plugged in, then you might have multiple options like this. Or uh, if uh, you have, let's say, for example, only one webcam, you're using your laptop, you might just see one option right there. And there's some general settings right there, like report additional diagnostic to help improve this product, meaning any errors or anything else happens in during the meeting, it'll report it to Google server so that they can take a look at it later on. So I've, I just have this. So you might want to take a look at these settings before you start a new meeting. So that's how a Google Meet works. And when you start up working with uh, Google Meet and that is hosting conferences, what happens is that uh, you can discuss with a lot of people just like this. And uh, in further lessons, we're going to see one by one on what you can do with Google Meet and how you can host meetings and different options for uh, hosting meetings. So this is what you need to get started with Google Meet. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe. <laughs>